Didn't I tell you guys that I liked Minnesota? Yep, I'm back. It's time to enjoy Minneapolis. I'm staying downtown at the W. Fauché Hotel, and tomorrow I'm going for a bike tour that starts here. This building here is historical. The construction is from 1929 and used to belong to a businessman called Fauché. For more than 40 years, this was the tallest building in Minneapolis. Today there's a museum and an observation deck up there. Here, they've got the best view of Minneapolis. I'm here with other bloggers okay, and we're going for a bike ride. I'm going to go around Lake Calhoun, stop at our Chambers Hotel, drop those bikes off, walk, walk back to a nice lunch at Benny's. Minneapolis is one of the most bike-friendly cities in the U.S. and here there are lots of parks, lots of lakes too, and this close contact with nature helps a lot. <laughs> Lake Calhoun. This is one of the nicest areas in town. It's a great place to live, nice restaurants. During winter, this lake gets totally frozen. So instead of exercising here, people can go walk over the lake or ice fish. So cool. We were there for like two hours, going through so many beautiful places. Very worth it. This is probably the most well-known nightclubs in town. It got famous for the prince. Remember that he's from here. He's got his star. Today I'll get to explore downtown Minneapolis in one of these. I've always been so curious about it. I just hope I don't fall down. Oh my gosh! Gotcha. <laughs> I gotcha. So we're going on a history tour along the Mississippi Riverfront. Come on. Minneapolis is known as the Mill City. Look at them over there. Everybody wants to come down this way. When industry started relying on the falls for power, they couldn't have the falls move anymore. The Stone Arch Bridge again! And now we go underneath. In the beginning of the 20th century, Minneapolis was the flour milling capital of the world. But after World War I, the industry began to decline and the old mills were basically abandoned. 
This was once the world's largest flour mill. Now it's part of the Mill City Museum. After the initial shock, now I feel like a pro. That was so cool, you know, the Segway tour itself is an attraction and best of all, you don't get tired, you can go to further away places and you have a guide explaining you everything, it was perfect. After seeing so much green and so many parks yesterday, I thought I had seen it all. But no, Minneapolis keeps surprising you. Now I discovered this place here called the Minnehaha Falls. People come here with their families to spend the day for picnics. It's just so nice. But of course, you know, Minnesota is the state of the 10,000 lakes. Of course, there are 10,000 beautiful places. These are actually the only waterfalls in the United States located within a metro area. Coming to Minneapolis between May and September is a totally different experience. This is the number one bike-friendly city in the country, and this is the time you can really enjoy it. I chose to focus on outdoor activities, but there's so much more here. It's a lot of history, so many nice museums as well. well next time. Thanks for watching.